I'm Dr. Hannah Williams, and I'm starting at Durham University as Assistant Professor in October 2021, where I will be building a brand new experiment for laser cooling molecules. The aim of the experiment is to use individually trapped molecules to simulate many body physical systems. An array of trapped molecules can, for example, represent particles within a crystal. This will require exquisite control over single molecules, which means the molecules must be very cold, on the order of a microkelvin. At these ultra-cold temperatures, we will be able to control not only the motion of the molecules, but also their internal state. The molecules that we will be using are diatomic molecules, so a molecule with two atoms, meaning that they have electronic energy levels, like atoms, but also vibrational and rotational levels. This rich internal structure offers advantages when it comes to using molecules for studying quantum physics, but it also complicates the experimental procedures. We will be using a combination of lasers, magnetic fields and microwaves to cool and control the molecules. As this will be a new experiment, I can't give you a lab tour, but I hope that these little illustrations will help to build a better picture of the future setup. The experiment will be carried out in a vacuum chamber consisting of three main regions. The molecular source, the slowing region and the trapping chamber. The molecular source is cooled to 4 Kelvin using a cryocooler and is being constantly filled with helium gas. By firing a laser at the target material, we create molecules which collide and hence thermalize with the helium before exiting the source as a beam. The molecules will then travel along the chamber where we can detect them via fluorescence using a photomultiplier tube, leading to a signal like the one sketched here. A counterpropagating laser beam will decelerate the molecules via radiation pressure, slowing them as they travel. Finally, the molecules will enter a trapping region where they will be captured initially in a magneto-optical trap, which consists of quadrupole magnetic field and six counterpropagating laser beams. The molecules will then be further cooled and addressed by microwaves to control their internal state. Here you can see an image of a magneto-optical trap taken on a phone in one of my previous experiments. By joining this experiment as a PhD student, you will get to work on the design, construction and implementation of a new experimental setup. This will include putting together vacuum chambers, building the molecular source, setting up lasers with all the associated optics and control requirements, also writing the software to run the experiment and record data, as well as being in charge of the day-to-day -day data collection and analysis. If this is something that you are interested in, Please feel free to contact me directly at my email address shown on the screen or via Twitter. Thank you very much for listening and I hope to hear from you soon.